into your bed. Stay, stay, pa. Yes, good boy. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. It's On Cloud Chi with Gucci Emmy here. Today I have my white Pomeranian pup. His name is Leo. He is about five months old now. My husband and I got him in the summer of this year, 2020. In our previous videos, I received so many questions about how we train Leo. Also, so many compliments about how adorable he is. He really has been a blessing. I wanted to do this video to give you an update so you could see how Leo is doing. Maybe share a little bit about some tips and tricks and how we train Leo. If you have any questions or please feel free to let us know what other tips and tricks we should consider teaching Leo. Feel free to leave that in the comment section. I hope you enjoy this video. So this is Leo and I'll probably just follow him throughout the day so you can see what he does. And I am definitely not going to reinvent the wheel. A lot of the training that we did with Leo, we honestly just searched up ideas on Google. I think what I'll do is I'll show you his tricks that he's learned and then in the description box, I'll leave a link to the video that best describes how we taught Leo to do that trick. Hi, Leo. Good morning. Leo, introduce Allie. Who is this? This is Allie the alpaca. One of his favorite stuffed toys that he has. Let go. Yes, good boy. Oh, his face. He just likes to follow us wherever we go. He, <laughs> he likes to play with my feet. Um, luckily, he doesn't bite my feet. And some puppies are known to bite at people's ankles. Leo just loves to play like tag where he taps your feet and then you have to go tap him back. This is his treat bag. This is how I taught Leo his name. I would pull his attention over here and I would say, Leo. And he has to look at me. Leo. Yes. Leo. Yes. Leo. Yes. And every time I say Leo, he knows to look at me and he will be rewarded every time he looks at me. And now every time I say Leo, he looks at me without a treat. <laughs> Leo, come. Sit. Leo, come. Leo, come. Leo, come. <laughs> All right, so the first trick we taught him was definitely not his name. He did not know his name at first. The first one we taught him was to sit. Leo, sit. Yes. I had my hand over his head and pushed down so that it forces him to sit in that position. Sit. Yes, good sit. Then after that, we taught him how to lay. Leo, come. Good boy, come over here. Okay, sit, lay. So as you notice, he followed my hand down to lay. And then after that, we taught him to roll over. Leo, come, sit, lay, roll over. My hand went around his head. One of the things we noticed was when teaching Leo, Leo, come was to make sure he understood how to do the movement. As you see, Leo is following my hand. Sit, lay, roll over, yes. Now I'm going to try without saying the command. There we go, yes. Now I'm going to say the command without using hand motions. Leo, come, sit, lay, roll over. Yes, good boy. Sit, lay, stay. Stay. Roll over. Roll over. Yes. Good boy. After roll over, there are a couple of tricks we taught him. Paw. Other paw. Circle. Chin. Ball. Jump. Jump. Cuddle. Cuddle. Yes. Good job. Good job, Leo. Of all the toys that we bought him, this is his favorite. This was um, one of Lou's old white t-shirts that I cut up and braided and made it into a tug of war toy. Fetch! Come on. Yes, good boy, good boy. Ready, Leo? 
Leo, fetch. Yes, good job. Ready, Leo? Fetch. Come on. Come on. Yes, good work. Great job. One of my favorite tricks that we taught him was to play dead. He knows how to play dead when we say play dead and also when we do the, the bang motion. Leo, come. Come here. Lay. Lay. Play dead. Yes, good boy. Bang. Yes. Leo, bang. Yes, good boy. Bang. Leo, play dead. The next trick that we taught him. Leo, come. Ready? Spin. Other way. Wait, up. Around. Up. Well, yes, great job. Great job. Leo, spin. Other way. For the peekaboo, he brings his paw up and rubs his eyes to close his eyes. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Yes, good boy. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. All right, now I'm going to try to do it without saying the commands. Great work. Great work. <laughs> Good job. Another thing he likes to do is to go around me. So I'm sitting crisscross. And I'm going to have him. Leo, come here. Sit. Go around. Just he's going to come back around. And here he is. Okay, ready? Go around. Yes. Good work. So this is another trick I really wanted to teach Leo because this could potentially save his life in the future. The trick is to teach Leo to leave something alone because he, I mean, I'm sure other dogs love to find random things to grab and put in their mouth and that could potentially be anything which can harm them. Here I have two treats um, in my hands and what I do is I say leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Leave it, yes. And I, I reward him for leaving. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. I'm turning. Leave it. Yes, okay. So he's only allowed to get the food or whatever it is if I say yes, okay. So I'm going to try this again. Leo, come. See this? Leave it. Leave it. Yes, okay. Stay, Leo. Leo, yes, okay. Stay, Leo. Yes, okay. <laughs> Good boy. Let's see if he just stays without me saying it. Yes, okay. He's always so quiet. Oh, another question that we got was potty training. As you can see in this video, we let Leo roam now, but he really needed to earn it. So when we first got him for the first few weeks, we just limited his space. We had a playpen for him. It had enough space for him to run around in. We used pee pad and then we switched. The pee pad was just a mess. Um, we found out that Leo likes to rip it into shreds, but we got um, those grass pads. We used that, which worked really well. So he knew to go to the grass. Now he knows that there's only one spot for him to go potty. It is not inside. I'm going to link a video in the description box to help with potty training. Also with sleeping patterns, I believe they say it's like um, every month that they are, that's how many hours they can hold their pee. So right now he's five months, but we noticed he can hold his pee up to six hours. So at night when we go to bed, if we go to bed at 10, he will probably wake up around 4. Sometimes we go to bed at 9 and he wakes up at 6. So um, it just varies, but that's okay because those are around the times we get up to get ready for work anyways. Hi. Hi, buddy. Is that your wink? He likes to wink, but then that's how I know he's really tired too. This is the backpack that we've been using um, for the past five months. No tear at all. Leo, backpack. Backpack. Yes, backpack. Yes, good boy. 
here we go so leo is all in his backpack and it's spacious for me for him to lay spin do his thing and here we have we should put his treat bag in here and his harness and leash is in here and then water bottles poop bags on the sides Okay, ready to go. You ready, Leo? That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video of Leo. Thank you for watching.